sat down to imagine. It was given to me. It's a message that I have to relay or pass on to the church. <laughs> but I try to resist these messages. But there is this particular one which I couldn't hold behind. And this is unforgiveness. Do not look at me, but listen to this message. It is not what I sat down and I think, oh, this message, no. God gave it to me. And he's not begging anyone. It's a warning. If you want to forgive, forgive. If you do not want to forgive, it's up to you. And the message was given to me this way. Unforgiveness is as cruel as the grave. Because someone who refuses to forgive can kill. There is nobody who do not have um, offenders. We all have offenders. But how are you able to forgive this person? Oh, he did this. It's so painful. Oh, I can't imagine that. Oh, I can't imagine. Yes. But you can forgive. This morning we had a song say, I am a friend of God because he called me friend. He has forgiven you. It's not because he called you friend, not because you are so perfect or so holy or so good or so rich or so maybe. But he 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 loves you and he called you his friend. And Jesus Christ did not come because of the believers. He came because of the unbelievers. If the world was saved, he won't come. But he came because the world was in total sin, total darkness. To redeem us, he came and he went on that cross to save us. And still, we still offend him. The things which he came to die for, we still do these things. But he keeps forgiving us. What about you? You want to be forgiven. Why can't you forgive someone? I don't know. If, uh, if you go to Proverbs 17, 17, someone can go to it. Is it Proverbs 17, verse 17? It says, A friend loves at all times. I hope I'm right. Just me, are you able to get it? No, don't worry. It said, A friend loves at all times. So, if you, if somebody refuses to be a friend to you, you be a friend to the person. Because this is one of the commandments of Jesus Christ that we should love. And if you take a look at Galatians 6, 17, it says, you who bear the mark of Christ. Let's open Galatians 6, 17. Because I really want to be sure that that. Galatians 6, 17. Galatians 6, 17. Are you there? I want everyone to hear us, please. 6, It's okay. From now on, don't let anyone trouble me with these things, for I bear on my body the scars that show I belong to Jesus. Yes, guys. Who has an ID? And I be <coughs> finally let no one I can so I want them to get it. <laughs> finally let no one cause me trouble for I bear on the body the marks of Jesus. Amen. He said let no one bear me any trouble, for I bear on my body the mark of Jesus. You cannot bear the mark of Jesus on your body and you still conceive unforgiveness. And you still conceive sin. It is 